going to be wrecking player K51264. We'll be uh, talk to you again 30 minutes or landed. Thank you. They fight wildfires from the sky, and it's no easy task. Well, it's been always asking, how do you train for this? Well, as an ops guy, it's, uh, yeah, you train. It's, it's, it's just gaining experience over the years. I've been doing this close to 20 years now, so, you know, you just, you gain that experience. Um, and it's really, a, you know, a lot of uh, on-site experience, um, a combination of that and book experience, obviously, so... But you just, you do the job and over time you gain that knowledge, right? So, right. These pilots have long and strenuous days. Not only are they dropping fireballs from the sky, but they're also placing firefighters in almost impossible locations. We break down our pilots' duty day into three separate sections. The first is the actual duty day, which is 14 hours. Uh, then we further break that down into a 12 hour, 12 hour operational readiness period. And within that 12-hour operational readiness period, they're allowed to fly eight hours a day. From my conversations with pilots, um, it certainly is mentally fatiguing. Also, it can be slightly physical, physically fatiguing because they're sitting uh, for so long each day. However, we do try to give them uh, lots of rest periods so that every time they go up, they're um, ready to go. Nine helicopters are currently circling around Okanagan Lake, fighting multiple fires. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna.